all by myself. Don't wanna be all by my. Oh, hi, Fuka. <laughs> I kind of forgot you were standing there. I'm using Mitsuru standing there. Also, holy cow, I'm so tall compared to you. <laughs> but yes, I did grind everyone until they got tired, so that's why it's just me and Fuka standing here. Greetings all, it's Blue Knight, and welcome back to Persona 3 FES. Previously, we took down the first pack of guardians in the new section of Arca, the Golden Beetles. Not before I made the unfortunate mistake of not saving before that fight, and I had to redo so much progress, including doing the so called two star request of finding those five bronze figurines. I swear to god. That request should not take as long as it did. I had to find the snake skills way before I found even the first bronze dice when I had to redo that whole thing. Today, we're gonna start things off by doing some persona fusing before we head out of the dark hour and go back to doing some social link business. So I'm just here to check on what personas I can fuse for the time being. Also off screen, I did get this persona called Slime in Tartarus of the Fool Arcana. It's one I don't really use at all, but if you want to fill your, your compendium, you might end up finding this one. So that might, that might be harder said than done, considering I was expected to find Pyrojack in Tartarus, but I didn't do so. I had to fuse that myself, as I've already shown recently. Speaking of Slime, we won't be acquainted with it for very long. By fusing Slime with Chimera, we'll get... Oberon of the Emperor Arcana. Cleave is the best skill I was able to get from those two, so I'm gonna be passing that on to Oberon. And I'm not sure if you've seen the request list, but if you're paying attention to it, we do need Oberon for one of Elizabeth's persona requests. We need to get this particular persona to show her at level 17 or higher. And to be very honest, this works out very well for me because Oberon is one of the weaker personas I end up using early to big game, much like with Pyrojack. So a very great timing I was able to get this persona right now. Only it's going to be a matter of time before his level 17 though, but I'm pretty sure we're far enough in the effort socially that alright we were able to do so. So we'll be able to get this request nabbed in the bag, but I really don't have that, requ that request uh, equip right now, so actually complete the request itself. It's gonna take some time to do so. Do I want something to happen to Cleave? Uh, no. I also got a Zyro out of the deal as well, so I'll be definitely using Oberon as my electric type persona for the time being. So like I said, this worked out very, very well for me. Honestly, Oberon's the only one I'm gonna fuse for now. The reason why is that I really can't find anything else I want to fuse at the moment that I need. So I'm going to stick with just Oberon for the time being. And then I'll look at my Persona list a little bit more off screen. So I can see what other Personas I can fuse just to fill up my compendium some more. Now, at least it's Sunday today so there is no school. But it is always Tanaka day when it is Sunday so... Let's watch the TV and see what Tanaka himself has in store for us this time around. Yes, yes, we know the song already. It's been two months. We know how this shit date goes already. And the day is... A brand purse. Another gift to capture a woman's heart. And he'll throw in another perfume. Did we get this set already? Because I know the perfume was a side item for something we got recently. Maybe I'm just thinking ahead too much, I'll probably think of something else, but in any case, I'll buy the set. And of course, since it's Sunday, it's gonna be Maya Day as well. And I do have Yo Yogusa Chikobe in my arsenal, so let's play this MMO and see what kind of shenanigans we'll get up to with Maya for today. I went to the gym yesterday to work out. My muscles are so are sore, but I'm so buff. <laughs> I can believe that. There's something a little endorphins will cure, right? So much pain. 
it's the boss was really worth it if you're that uh, that sore. Only went because I was oh. Uh, is this the same person we're talking about from last time? That's SOB, I think you called him. Kinda have a dirty mouth. Maya, that's you in general. You're not like the cleanest person in the world. I don't expect you to be like very classy, I guess. I, I don't. I hope that's not an insult, I'm just saying. You're upset because of this guy. Yeah, I thought so, it's the Mr. E guy. The sob, in other words. I made a small error in my great book and now he's all over me. That's not, uh... That's not good. It's supposed to an example he told me. <laughs> he thinks he knows all that just because he's a history teacher. Well, that's very... Very entitling of him. He's not know who I am. I'm Maya, exactly. You don't mess with Maya, otherwise she will bite back. If Mr. E starts playing this game too, I'm putting him on ignore. I highly doubt he knows what a video game is, if he is a history teacher. Though you never know, he might be hip with the crowd and know what's in today, so... He might be on this game for all we know. He might like MMOs in general. You never know... You never know what a person really likes. They can really surprise you. I have been surprised by you from time to time, Maya. I'll say that. And as always, we've gained another rank up in the Online Gaming Social League. So now we're at rank 6 with the... with Maya. Mr. E probably doesn't have a computer at home anyway. Paul, you said Abacus. Talk about a history teacher. I'm assuming an Abacus is like a really old computer model. At least that's what I'm thinking. But I'll take your word for it. Don't worry, I'll let that old geezer get me down. That's the spirit. Remember, we must always think positive. That's our motto. So at least we know a little bit more about this Mr. E guy. I love how that pun... Mr. E, mystery. I can't believe I ignored that for the longest time. I really didn't think anything else much of it. It only took me until this playthrough to realize that that's a joke. I'm just really dumb sometimes. Hi, Yukari. So I'm guessing it's true that fewer cases of apathy syndrome occur after each of our missions. But then that changes the guess we get closer to the next full moon. And that is true. We'll have to expect that power to continue if... We're gonna keep on battling these big shadows. What do I think about Mitsuru? Is there something you're not telling us? Don't you think she she, she, she sort of pushed Fuka into joining? I don't think so. I mean, it's nice to have her in battle, or have her around, especially in battle, but it just feels wrong. Like I said, Fuka, I think it was ultimately up to her choice. I really don't think Mitsuru and Akihiko really pushed her into Jordy Seas that much. Okay, it's classic game with Miss Toriyubi. Our language can be very complex. Now then, Junpei's looking shifty, so how about you, Makoto? Oh, just because Junpei's looking shifty, I get called on? What am I, his sidekick? Because I am not his sidekick. Feel the blankly appropriate conjunction. Actually, this is very uh, appropriate because right now I am taking English class, so I should know this very well. It rained all again last- it rained all last week. So I'm expecting it and would be the perfect conjunction for this. Yep, it's correct, I thought so. You make a great composition teacher someday. I really not expect myself to get a composition to be honest. You wouldn't use Buffy to compare two situations that are identical, and probably it's not a conjunction. Yeah, that's what I thought. Although I do- know that uh, butt is a fanboy, which I think it is conjunction in a way, but not used in the appropriate context that sentence had to give out. So that's probably why my mind defaulted to and. Okay, so it's butt day today. I want to speak to Yukari a little bit more. I'm glad there will be a full moon for a while. Still. Okay, she said this recently, I know that. Alright, Monday today, what can we do on Monday? It, it, can, it is doing cast, council, so I can probably go there. But there's also kendo practice. Actually, wait, I want to go on that day with Elizabeth before I do anything else. That way I can get one of those requests done. And come to think of it, 
I do have the required materials I needed to complete the Google Eyed Idol request as well, so we'll stop by the antique shop on the way there as well. As a matter of fact, I'm going to the antique shop first to get that idol very quickly. That way we can get two requests knocked down in a pretty short amount of time. I know it's under trade for items. And it was right there, bottom of the list. We needed two turquoise for this, but of course because of how last expedition TARDIS went, I kind of went overboard on it. But at least we got the item we need for that request. And come to think of it even more, since it's daytime, I can stop by the police station to sell off some stuff, so I think I'm going to do that as well. And knowing me, I probably got a lot of stuff I need to sell off considering how long the last expedition TARDIS went. Oh yeah, Monday is uh, also a discount day for Kurosawa as well, I forgot about that. He's also got some new stock in. We got a bunch of snake skills. They don't go for much unfortunately, so that's a bad thing. Oh wait, there's a beetle horn, I forgot about these things. That we got from the golden beetles. So 5,000 each, that equates to 15,000. And now to hand in those request items. Well, these I tub. I only got just the one, now it's the idol. Before we go on the date, Elizabeth, I have something to give you. It's something that you might like. Knowing how unique your tastes are. It looks quite old, but I'm certain someone put a great deal of time and energy into making it. If I'm not mistaken, there's a persona this item resembles. Really? Well, I'll take your word for it. But in any case, we got the Blade Fist, which I think might be an even better punching item for Akihiko. That might have triple digits in terms of attack power, like with the Toy Bow and the Spike Bat. So now that I got that freed up, I can now go on to this. Bring me strong medicine, huh? wonder what that is. I heard it's a powerful, possibly dangerous medicine nurse's office. Well, I guess I'll be accepting that too after I show you Oberon. Yes, I do. I need that level 17 like you asked. Did you know that if someone's on the other side of you, just like you, it will grow and change? However, the rate at which it grows depends on more your social links than on fighting. I suggest you make many friends and deepen the bonds you've established. Well, I've kind of been doing that already, Elizabeth, but thanks for the reminder. Three coins of night. <laughs> We'll be using that, so that's gonna be like a a silly off item in case I run low on cash. And the next one, Creep Vitala with Moragi. I don't think I'm strong enough to Creep Vitala yet, so that's got the way for a little while. But in the meantime, I will select this request, so I can get that done back at school. But in the meantime, Elizabeth, i like to go on a date with you. Uh, clearly she doesn't know how escalators work. <laughs> I'll give her this, she persisted on trying to get down that. Flowing stairs that must be mastered by those who would try to pass. So this is an escalator. It looks simple. But one false step, and challengers will be mired in an exhausting ordeal. Warning. Please refrain from going up the down escalator, and vice versa. Thank you. And what's this? Please watch your step. There's a pitfall just ahead. in the center of this fenced-off area. It's marked with eye-catching signs which state in bold print, Do not enter. Humans frequently crave that which is forbidden to them. This is a crafty snare that goes against the common notion that pitfalls must be hidden. A stairway that tests one's wits and a pitfall that tests one's inner strength. Human authorities have a great deal to contend with in their quest to defend the town's law and order. I'm very moved by their plight. Let's 
continue forth, our thoughts dedicated to the unsung heroes who love this town so very much. Fragrant aroma, it can't be. Whoa, you can figure out our secret ingredient just by its smell? Oh, I guess you don't wear those funky clothes for nothing, lady. Well, there ain't a law against takoyaki shops cooking stuff besides octopus. How about it? You want to buy one? It'll make you smile so wide your cheeks will fall off. Cuisine so luscious that one's cheeks fall off. Such a result would cause havoc in reality, but I'd definitely like to experience this. I'm pretty sure it's not that expensive, Elizabeth. I appreciate the concern, but my curiosity exceeds any monetary. On closer inspection, one package is only 400 yen. See? Told you. Oh, well then, two packages, please. Thanks! Here you go, and come again! This distinct texture, the firm, chewy outer skin, there's no doubt about it. I must say, I'm surprised to come across this used as an ingredient in food. May seem to still be in place. And in any event, there are many other delicacies I feel I must try. I must take care not to lose my cheeks before sampling each and every one of them. Here to be several dining establishments around. I wish to try all of them. My first priority is to visit something called a manga cafe and obtain a foodstuff known as a smoothie bar. This smoothie bar allows for an infinite combination of flavors by mixing various ingredients. Just thinking about it gives me a sort of electric tingle across my tongue. Oh boy. This can't end well. Oh man, look how small I'm going. We appear to have exhausted the culinary possibilities in this area. Oh my! Are you feeling well? Probably not. Now that I think about it, you haven't eaten much since our seventh meal. In any event, I have to thank you for the tasty experience. If you don't mind, I'd very much enjoy accompanying you again. I wouldn't mind that, Elizabeth. Just, please, no more eating food. Because apparently, you have a bombless pit of a stomach. I mean, my goodness, how did you, how are you still acting that well, especially eating, eating after over seven meals? Thank you for showing me around Iwatonai Station. The fascinating rides, the dangerous traps, and of course, the cornucopia of curious cuisine. The people's lives there were quite different from those at Polonium Mall the other day. So that I might not forget what we saw, I like to recreate some of the dishes we tasted. First, I must hunt for ingredients. Haha, <laughs> this will be so much fun! As for your reward, I've again prepared something special. With this, you can fuse Impuza. It looks remind one of a beautiful beast. 
Yet she too rises from the sea of your soul. I wish I could get a greater appreciation for what your soul is like. I think I'd like to keep my soul mysterious and, uh, to myself, thank you very much. I imagine that'd be quite the invasion of personal space, but I guess I appreciate the offer? I don't know. So at least we got that date done. And I just remembered that the strong medicine, we have to see a certain somebody at school to get the strong medicine, but we'll have to gain access to that person in a bit of a strange way. So that's gonna be on hold for, I assume, a little while. And I ultimately decided to go with Kaz as today's social link. So since I did, did get a cherry persona off screen, so we'll get more points to add to this link like always. Alright, let's see where things go in terms of Kendo practice today. Kendo teams give you everything they've got like always. Okay, it's tough but fun. Does it cast seem low? Does it cast seem slower lately? My goodness, that was a hard sentence for me to say. Yeah, he's not trying as hard as he usually does. Did they still make it a nationals like that? If you guys have nothing better to do, then why don't you give me a, a hand with the laundry? Well, that got in the move. Good job, Yuko. The only thing they're good at is waving their sticks around. <laughs> wow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not a good sign. I think Coach might be catching on to Kaz's injury. I swear I didn't say anything, anything Kaz. So don't blame me for this. And apparently Yuko's got something on her mind too. It's not nothing, Yuko. Your face says otherwise, but we don't have enough time in Kendall practice to talk about this. Guess I'll have to wait. Oh, hi, Kaz. How'd your meeting with Coach went? Hey, you look pretty far as someone who's got a, se a severe neck, a neck a injury. A neck injury would be a lot worse, I imagine. Oh, he is worried. I think he is. He's catching on. He probably does, but how are you to your knee? You were able to get through practice today. It's sore, but at least you made it through. He said I have to quit the team if I'm hurt, but I told him I'm not. I've already missed three days. Now I'll have to work even harder. Working harder is what got your knee to the shape it is in the first place. That's not the solution. I know you're promising your nephew, but... You gotta think about your own health as well, man. And Makoto, stop telling Taz Kaz to tough it up. This is exactly what got us into the situation in the first place, but unfortunately, it's the correct answer. And as always, Kaz agrees with this attitude. Even though I don't. But Makoto seems to think otherwise. I decide I'll take my chances for my nephew's sake. Even if I permanently damage my knee. He's dedicated, I'll give him that. If that happens, don't say anything like that. I've only been in school for like a couple of months. I don't think I'm ready to become the captain yet. Especially when you have to go down. Or if you go down. And Kaz, you just worry me a lot. You make me worry about you more and more after every meeting, I swear. Yet this is... This is making our social league with him grow ever so stronger. <laughs> I know it's a depressing topic. Don't think about it like that, please. I don't want to have that on my conscience. I'll keep my promise to win at regional knee as well as nationals. Then I'll give my knee a rest. That's provided your knee holds up to all of that. <laughs> and Kaz. Yeah, you and I hope, hopefully Makoto actually talks some sense into him. And it's not about toughening up. Because that's what got us into this mess in the first place. Where have you been? I'm just in Kendo team. Talking about stuff. Serious stuff. We were just at Tartarus Cast. Cast. <laughs> I have Cast on the bottom all of a sudden. I mean Akihiko. I know the next full moon is a, is a ways away, but this, the shadows are getting stronger. Man, I'm so messed up. I can't even speak straight right now. I know you have to treat Polyduces, but we were just at Tartarus recently. 
I think we need to give ourselves a little break, a little break before the next expedition. I want to see what some of the other people have to say before we do end things off for today. And wow, Makoto, how rude of you! I mean, I know Junpei's a bit of an idiot, but you don't have to keep on your back turn like that. Oh, well, he's talking about Fuka again. Wow, well, he's really. I think he's got like a crush on Fuka if I had to guess anything. But maybe he's just still excited that we have another girl in the dorm. Which is good for him, but not so good for the rest of us. Which means we have to put up with his attitude a little bit more. Hikaru, you don't have to be so jealous about Mitsuru. You've got your own talents as well as she does. Just because she was able to switch roles doesn't mean that you should be devalued any less. Aki, what do you have to say? Yeah, they are getting stronger. You need to train every day to keep pace with them. Well, I'm running around all over the dang place, so... I think I am keeping pace with them in a way. At least as far as my endurance goes. My weapon of choice is a one-handed sword. As you may be aware, its attack power and accuracy level are only adequate. However, I think it is today magnifique. A one-handed sword is a refined, sophisticated weapon. You should consider wielding one. Trust me, Mitsuru, I do. In all honesty, the one-handed sword is the one I'm the most comfortable with. I've just been using it for so long between playing this version and Persona of the Portable a lot that I've just grown to be very comfortable with the one-handed sword. Anything else, I just kind of feel a little nervous about using because the one-handed sword is the one that I feel has the, it's the most balanced. So I think it suits my playstyle very, very well. So with all that said and done, we're going to stop for today. We were able to get a, a lot of requests stuff out of the way and we had another interesting date with Elizabeth as well as having more seriousness with Kaz and his knee. So next time, we're going to actually head to the command room because we haven't been there in a while. We might as well investigate if there's any new recordings that have popped up since then. And then we'll go on to our usual social league business like always. Until we meet again, farewell for now.